off. Mayday. Okay, cut the shit. Who is that? <laughs> Everything's starting to sound like footsteps. Keep your safety off. Whoever or whatever created this mess might still be around. You're mine now, rookie! Lost your nothing. Nothing! revolting.
has been detected. Please evacuate the building immediately. Chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building. has been detected. Please evacuate the building immediately.
has been detected. Please evacuate the building immediately. Please, evacuate the building. Repeat, a chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building immediately. Yes. Please evacuate the building. Repeat, a chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building immediately.
chemical leak has been detected. Please, evacuate the building. Welcome to the Hallucigen Labs observation area. Please step up to the windows for a demonstration of our products and development. Hallucigen's dispersant is... Hallucigen gas. Reliable crowd control. Criminal scum? Don't get a gun. Try Hallucigen suppressor. A safe, reliable, and effective way to paralyze even armored targets. Unpredictable sensory experience may be wrong. Subject exposed to high dosage. Hallucigen's dispersant is ideal for peacefully clearing an area of civilians. Hallucigen is not responsible for any damage, injury, or loss of life sustained in. Repeat. A chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building immediately. Evacuate the building. Evacuate the building. It's under my skin. Uh -huh. Get it out. Get it out. Who's there? Evacuate the building.
bugs. Bugs, 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 bugs. <laughs> the gas. <laughs> we can't get away from the gas. <laughs> Bugs, bugs. Evacuate the building immediately. That's an interesting find, and still intact. Please, evacuate the building. Repeat, a chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building immediately.
has been detected. Please evacuate the building immediately. Please, evacuate the building. Chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building. Evacuate the building. chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building. Carrying too much gear is tactically dangerous, soldier. A chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building.
chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building. Evacuate the building. There we go. has been detected. Please evacuate the building immediately. been detected. Please evacuate the building immediately.
Repeat. A chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building immediately. Bugs. Please evacuate the building. Evacuate the building. Got it. Nice work. I've seen scribes take longer than that to hack a terminal. Please, evacuate the building. No, no, bad kitty! Go away! Go away! It's 
under my skin. Ah, get it out, get it out! The gas. You, you, you can't get away from the gas. No, stop it! <laughs> Bugs, bugs! You, you aren't real! You aren't real! Here, kitty, kitty, kitty! <laughs> Get away! Get away! Hi. You, you aren't real! You aren't real! Under my skin. Uh, get it out, get it a out. chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building. Bugs, bugs, bugs. Evacuate the building. Get it out! Get it out!
Repeat. A nice. chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building immediately. Repeat. A chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building immediately. Building a bit nostalgic. Please, evacuate the building. Repeat. A chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building immediately.
repeat. A chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building immediately. Perfect. A chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building. Evacuate the building. chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building. Repeat. A chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building hey there. immediately. Bugs! Bugs, bugs, bugs!
may sound like a strange question, but tell me, what do you think about Scribe Halen? Scribe Halen? Why? Is something wrong with her? No, not at all. Halen's doing well. I simply wanted to talk to you about her, but I wanted to know what you thought of her first. I don't think I know her well enough to give you a military evaluation. That's a shame. Perhaps you should spend more time working with her then. She's a model soldier. But I wasn't looking for an evaluation of her performance as a scribe. I wanted to know what you thought of Halen as a person. So there is a heart beating under all that armor after all. I suppose I deserve that. I just don't normally find these discussions easy to handle, so I try to avoid them at all costs. The truth is, I'm worried about her. Since you and I are getting along so well, I felt like I could confide in you about it, to get your honest opinion. She seems to be able to handle herself. Why are you worried? Helen is a model scribe. This has nothing to do with her capabilities in the field. A few months before you found us, one of my men was shot multiple times by raiders. Halen stayed by that knight's side for two days straight, without sleep, fighting to keep him alive. But he was on a slow decline. I decided that his suffering needed to end, and ordered Halen to administer an overdose of painkillers so he could die with dignity. Even though I'm certain she wanted to continue fighting for that knight's life. She injected him without question. Are you asking me whether or not I approve? Of course not. I stand by every order I've ever given. That soldier was gravely wounded. Even if, by some miracle, he happened to survive, he would have been paralyzed for life. But the decision whether or not to ease that soldier's suffering isn't the point here. The point is what happened later that same evening. Halen approached me while I was on watch. She didn't say a word, but I could tell something was wrong. After what felt like an eternity, she collapsed into my arms, crying. I didn't know what to do, so I just held her for a while. A few minutes later, she stopped, kissed me on the cheek, and simply said, thank you, before heading back into the police station. Right then, it hit me. Maybe I pushed her too hard. I ordered her to ignore her instincts to do something her medical training told her was wrong. That's why I'm worried about her. And for that matter, everyone under my command. Come on, Dance. What is it you're really worried about here? I don't know. Look, four soldiers. Over half of my team are gone. Each one of them died because of decisions that I made. I understand the risks that come with the job. We all do. But how can anyone have confidence in me anymore? Hell, how can I have confidence in myself? Would it make you feel better if I told you that I believed in you? Actually, it does. Well, it looks like things have taken a turn. I signed up to be your sponsor, so I teach you everything that I know but it looks like I'm the one that needed the lesson today. All joking aside, I'm pleased that we had this discussion. And with all the problems you're facing, you still took the time to listen. It's comforting to know that I can speak to you as more than just your commanding officer. Does this mean you'd be there to hold me if I ever needed it? I... Uh, I don't know. I... I never thought you'd ask me something like that. It would depend on the circumstances, but I suppose we'll just have to see what happens when the time comes. Anyway, thanks for letting me get that off my shoulders. I think it's been weighing on me more than I realized. I'm only sorry you had to see me at my worst instead of at my best.
Hello, neighbor. We need to deal with the We are always looking for new members. I hope you decide to change your life today. <clears throat> Welcome, neighbor. We're always glad to see a new face around here. Tell me something. You ever feel like this whole world is broken? Do you ever wonder why things can't be the way? Why do you ask? Because if you are that kind of person, you've come to the right place, neighbor. We call ourselves the pillars of the community. We're a pretty new movement, so you may not have heard of us. But we're growing fast all across the Commonwealth, and you can be part of this exciting future. Step right this way, and I'll be happy to tell you all about our movement and how you can be a part of it. What's your movement all about? I'm glad you asked. Our mission is nothing less than to transform the entire Commonwealth one life at a time. Maybe you've seen pictures or heard stories about what life was like back before the Great War. Maybe you've wondered, why can't life be like that again? Well, neighbor, I'm here to tell you that it can. What do you say? Ready to take that first step into a new life? You owe it to yourself to give it a chance. I have some more questions first. Of course you do. And I'm here to answer them. Shoot. What if I change my mind after I join? There's absolutely no obligation. But trust me, once you see how your life is transformed, sure. believe it or not, we have never had a single pillar leave after joining. There's not many groups. Anything else you're wondering about before we get started? What do I have to do to join your movement? That's the beauty of it, neighbor. You don't have to do anything except have a willing... Anything else you're wondering about before we get started? What's your movement all about? Our mission is nothing less than to transform the entire Commonwealth one. Maybe you've seen pictures or heard stories about what life was like back before the... Mm -hmm. Maybe you've wondered, why can't life be like that again? Well, neighbor, I'm here to tell you that... Anything else you're wondering about before we get started? I don't have any more questions. Good. You owe it to yourself. And I hope you're to ready to chance. take your first step into your new life as one of the pillars of the community. Yes, I am. All right, then. Fantastic. You won't... Re we haven't had a single pillar leave the movement since we started. Uh-huh. Right this way, neighbor. I'm always excited to welcome a new member into our fold. Listening to a performance has been extraordinary. Don't be I hope you decide to become one of the pillars of the community. Don't worry. Follow me. Don't be shy. Just follow me. All righty. I hope you're as excited as I am. This is one of my favorite parts of the job, getting to welcome new members into our movement. The first step is simple. You have to learn to give up your attachment to material possessions in order to gain the ability to have true wealth, health, and happiness. Just go ahead and give me everything you own, and I'll initiate you as a first-level pillar. Did I say no obligation? I was kind of lying about that. What? I 
can't say no obligation. I was kind of lying about that. Got it. I hope you decide to change your life today. Welcome, neighbor. We're always glad to see a new face around here. Tell me something. You ever feel like this whole world is broken? Do you ever wonder why things... The whole world is broken. That's what I... we call our... But we're growing. Step right. Sounds good. Well, that's just... Right. Right this way, neighbor. Don't worry, I don't fight. Listen. I'm always excited to welcome a new member into our fold. All righty. I hope you're as excited as I am. This is one of my favorite parts of the job, getting to welcome new members into our movement. The first step is simple. You have to learn to give up your attachment to material possessions in order to gain the ability to have true wealth, health, and happiness. Just go ahead and give me everything you own, and I'll initiate you as a first level pillar of the community. I'd advise against his suggestion.
What do I get in return for giving you everything I own? And you're still stuck in old thinking. You're th but that's what you came here to give up. And the first step is to shed yourself. You've got to be kidding. You want me to give you everything I have? The first step is the hardest, neighbor. But it's the only way to cast off your old life and start on the road. Mm -hmm. Don't you think that's worth a small temporary sacrifice? What do I get in return for giving you everything I own? You're still stuck in old... But that's what you... I'm walking out of here. Your choice what you want to do about it. Ah, you're not worth the trouble. Plenty of easier marks. Get out of here before I change my mind. Excuse me. We don't have anything to talk about. We don't have anything to talk about. Welcome, neighbor. We're always glad to see a new face around here. Tell me something. The whole world is... That's what uh -huh. I, we call ourselves. But we're growing uh -huh. step right... Uh-huh. Sounds good. Well, that's just... We Don't need to be deal with shy. Or move on. Just follow They're me. significantly reducing our combat efficiency. Right this way, neighbor. I'm always excited to welcome a new member into our fold. Alrighty. I hope you're as excited as I am. This is one of my favorite parts of the job, getting to welcome new members into our movement. The first step is simple. You have to learn to give up your attachment to material. Just go ahead. I'd advise against his suggestion. This is everything I have. Oh, you're really going to... Uh, welcome. You've made a brave step into a bright future. You're now officially a pillar of the community. Remember your training, soldier. You never let the enemy get inside your head. So here's level one. Repeat this mantra to yourself until you truly believe it. I deserve a better life. A better... Once you truly believe that in your innermost self, you will be ready for level two. I deserve a better life. A better life is coming. A better life is almost here. That's it, neighbor. Keep it up, and remember to tell all your friends about us. What is it, neighbor? How will I know when I'm ready for level two? Oh, you'll know. Good things will start to happen. You'll see. You just have to... What is it, neighbor? I just wanted to thank you. Becoming a pillar has changed my life. Oh, uh, thanks. Just keep working on level one and see if good things don't start to happen. I... Hey there. Welcome. Hey. What is it, neighbor? I need my stuff back. Or else. There wasn't really a money back guarantee on offer. Sorry. What is it, neighbor? Never mind. Hi. You Can't you already feel becoming. your life is changing? I know. <clears throat> I deserve. Hey there. Hello. Life is coming. A better life.
Hey there. What is it, neighbor? How will I know? Oh, you...
I have those chemical formulas for you. Marvelous. Now we can reform another societal picadillo. The hydration break. Whether it rears its head around the coffee pot, water cooler, or soda fountain, it's a menace. vault scientists have conducted experiment after experiment to eliminate this inefficiency. But people feel an irrational need to... socialize. So if they must squander their time, let us turn it into the collective good. With chemistry. Oh, Clem, you worry so much, my boy. Everything you eat and drink is made of chemicals, don't you know? Oh, right. That's very interesting, Lady Overseer. These are just... special chemicals. <laughs> what type of chemicals are we talking about? Well, that's up to you. But, from what I've read, the R&D folks really outdid themselves. It's okay. You can trust us, Clem. Maintaining Clem's trust isn't the focus of these experiments. Our collective welfare is. So, build the soda fountain, and then serve refreshments to our residents. And Clem, if you get thirsty on the job, Feel free to have a cool, refreshing beverage. Gee, thanks. Fountain shows enormous potential. Yes? Huh?
guess I'm open for business. a bad job manning the soda fountain. Yes. <clears throat> Never thought I'd have an honest to goodness job. Soda fountains open. Want to be the first customer? Depends. How much does it cost? Oh, it's free. Really? Well, I guess then. So damn hungry. Maybe I'll get another drink. Ugh, it tastes... <laughs> it tastes funny. <laughs> Make sure to come back. Yes? All the soda you can drink. Coca-Cola, but the soda's free. So damn hungry. Maybe I'll get another drink. the soda you can drink. Not a bad job manning the yes. soda fountain. Excuse me. You here to check up? I got a customer right here. You're back! Oh, yeah, this vault's amazing. <laughs> just great. Wow. Yeah, just great. It's so great, I don't even know what I'm saying. Neither do I. Enormous potential. <clears throat> to think we've turned the simple soda fountain into something noble. Ah, it fills me with pride. On to the next prototype. Ah, the Hippocratic Oath. A solemn vow to do no harm. Well, roughly, that's what it means. I don't want to get into interpreting dusty Latin textbooks. But that core sentiment of the medical community runs counter to what we're trying to accomplish here. Doctors shouldn't put their patients' welfare first. Instead, their sole focus should be the collective good. You understand, of course. Let's stop with the Philosophy 101. 
get to the job. Of course. So, enter the Voltec Fulropter. A specialized piece of optometrist equipment that, yes, can improve a patient's eyesight. But, potentially so much more. The prototype requires a bit, well, a lot. All right, a staggering quantity of radioactive material. But, the results will be worth it. Nuclear material, you say? <laughs> what could go wrong? I know. It's foolproof. But don't fret about the nuclear material. We chose this site for Vault 88 because our surveys indicate that there's a rich source of uranium deeper inside the caves. So, dig deep and get what we need. I cannot wait to see how the Foraptor turns out. Vault Tech created some of the best technology man had to offer. 